hello everyone welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to prove Cronin's integral uh, by using two methods so uh, as a first uh, method I'm going to use uh, find one technique of integration so I'm going to take uh, i of a b is equal to integral from 0 to infinity f of a x minus f of b x over x d x then uh, i'm going to take the partial derivative so i'm going to take the partial derivative so if we differentiate with respect to a here i of a b is equal to now uh, right hand side integral from 0 to infinity uh, we know if we differentiate f of a x with respect to a we have f dash of a x uh, times x but here we have 1 over x so x get cancelled d x okay then uh, here if we integrate f dash of a x we know again we have f of a x but here the coefficient of x we know a so we should divide by a so 1 over a f of a x uh, from 0 to infinity now uh, if we apply limit we have 1 over a f of infinity minus f of 0 okay then uh, again i am going to integrate with respect to a so here we have uh, again i of a b so i of a b is equal to uh, here uh, integration of uh, 1 over a we know natural log of a so natural log of a times f of infinity minus f of 0 plus constant i'm going to take c1 okay now uh, when a is equal to 1 when a is equal to 1 we have uh, i of 1 b i of 1 b is equal to we know here natural log of 1 0 so we have c1 c1 and also we can write this is equal to uh, integral from 0 to infinity here we have uh, f of ax minus f of bx now a is equal 1 so this part we know f of x so we have f of x minus f of bx over x dx and uh, i'm going to take this equation is number one this equation is number one then i'm going to take uh, the partial derivative with respect to b so now uh, we have uh, dark over dark of b i of a b i of a b is equal to uh, now we know uh, if we differentiate right hand side 0 to infinity now we have minus sign so minus f dash of bx dx okay then uh, if we integrate we know again we have f dash of uh, bx uh, so we have here um, limit from 0 to infinity so we can write here minus 1 over b uh, at the same time i'm going to apply the limit so we have f of infinity minus f of zero okay then uh, i'm going to integrate with respect to b so this side we know again we have i of a b is equal to uh, integration of one over b we know natural log of b minus natural log of b times f of infinity minus f of 0 plus constant c2 okay then when b is equal to 1 when b is equal to 1 we have i of a 1 is equal to we know uh, natural log of 1 0 so we have c2 also we can write this is equal to 0 to infinity f of a x minus f of bx b we know 1 so we have f of x over x dx and we can take 
this equation is equal to uh, number 2 then I am going to take sum of uh, 1 and 2 so we have uh, I uh, 1 comma B plus I A comma 1 is equal to uh, now if we add if we take the sum of these integrals we know same boundary integral from 0 to infinity same denominator x here x so uh, f of x get cancelled and we have f of a x minus f of b x over x d x and we know uh, this integral is equal to i of a b and i of 1 b is equal to we know uh, i of 1 b is equal to c1 so we have c1 plus i of a1 we know c2 c1 plus c2 is equal to uh, this integral we know i of a b okay then uh, we know i of a b i of a b is equal to i of a b is equal to uh, this equation natural log of a natural log of a uh, times natural log of a times f of infinity minus f of 0 f of infinity minus f of 0 plus c1 now we know i of a b is equal to c1 plus c2 so c1 plus c2 is equal to natural log of a times f of infinity minus f of 0 plus c1 and we know c1 get cancer so we have c2 is equal to natural log of a times f of infinity minus f of 0 okay then uh, again i am going to take uh, i of a b i of a b uh, this equation i of a b is equal to minus natural log of b minus natural log of b times f of infinity minus f of 0 plus c2 now uh, we know the value of c2 here we have c2 so we can write minus natural log of b times f of infinity minus f of 0 plus uh, c2 c2 we know natural log of a times f of infinity minus f of 0 now we can take f of infinity minus f of 0 as a common factor so here we have natural log of a minus natural log of b then according to property of natural log this part we can write natural log of a over natural log of b so f of infinity minus f of 0 times natural log of a over b okay uh, we are done uh, now uh, as a second method uh, i'm going to use uh, the foggini's theorem double integral okay let's start uh, we know the formula uh, integral from 0 to infinity f of ax minus f of bx over x dx uh, now we can write this is also equal to integral from 0 to infinity uh, here we can write instead of this part uh, f of xt f of xt over x uh, limit when uh, t is equal b here upper limit t is equal a dx now uh, integral from 0 to infinity and then uh, here instead of this part we can write uh, integral from b to a f dash of xt f dash of xt dt dx then uh, we can switch the integral sign uh, using Fovini's theorem we know here b to a 
0 to infinity f dash of x t dx t t well uh, then we can integrate uh, here b to a now here we have uh, we know integration of f dash of x t f of x t over x sorry uh, t here t uh, limit from x is equal 0 to infinity here d t okay then uh, we can plug in uh, values uh, limits so we can write here b to a b to a f of infinity minus f of 0 uh, over t d t okay then uh, here we can integrate with respect to t so we have this is a constant f of infinity minus f of 0 uh, 1 over t we know uh, integration natural log of t natural log of t from b to a then uh, we know here we have f of infinity minus f of 0 uh, times natural log of a minus natural log of b then f of infinity minus f of 0 according to property of natural log here we have natural log of a over b uh, here uh, f is a function uh, defined for all non-negative real numbers that has limit at uh, infinity okay we are done if you like uh, this type of videos uh, please um, subscribe this channel thank you for watching